hello dear students welcome to another informative video uh, about the google classroom series in today video i'm going to talk about how you can attempt an online quiz or online examination it could be midterm examination or a final term examination so we are going to talk about the procedure a step-by-step -step guide about uh, submitting your online quiz or examination first you have to log in to your google classroom account after that you have to select the course in which the 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 quiz or the examination is due for example you can see from here that i have a quiz and the quiz is quiz number one which is due tomorrow so i have to attempt the quiz before this time and before the deadline click on the subject and from here you can see the upcoming events like for example the same quiz is mentioned here click here on the quiz number one to open the quiz here you see instructions about the quiz like please attempt all the questions after completion of the quiz you have to submit the quiz thank you and good luck these are the instructions which are mentioned by the faculty member your teacher your instructor what you have to do is to click on this google form because the quiz has been created by using google forms once you click here the quiz will open in front of your eyes okay so you see the instructions here that this is our first online quiz a happy start the name of the quiz is programming fundamentals and actually in this quiz i have to attempt only three questions the first question is based on uh, is based on true false the second a second question is based on mcqs while the third question i have to write a descriptive type question so from here let me read the question python is a programming language you can also see the marks allocated to each question here the marks allocated to the, this question is two points are two marks so i'm sure that the answer is true i have to select the true second question has three points and the question is that python is an example of what low level language high level language mid level la level language or none of them i'm pretty sure that the correct option is that it is an example of a high level language okay now move to uh, question number three here you have to provide a description you have to write you have to define what a variable is so i'm going to type my answer a variable is actually a memory location which refers to a value stored in it that's it okay once you complete your quiz don't forget to press the submit button if you complete your quiz but do not press this button your quiz will not be submitted to the faculty member and then you will claim that you have attempted the quiz but you do not receive your result because the reason is that you did not submit your quiz or examination properly so just click on the submit button but remember please review your questions whether they are true or false because once you submit the quiz you will not be able to make addition to make uh, addition removal or you will not be able to make changes to the quiz so submit the button once you are clear that your answers are correct press the button it will actually submit the quiz to the uh, to the google classroom to the respect uh, to the faculty member along with the message that you can see on the screen that thank you for the attempt your quiz has been submitted it is just like a confirmation message that your quiz has been received uh, by the faculty member and response uh, this is like a response message which make it clear to the student that the quiz has been submitted you can also view the score but this option sometimes is not available it depends on the setting made by the faculty member right so if the option is available you can actually see the score so i got five out of ten right okay so this was a short tutorial about how you can submit attempt and submit a quiz online by using google classroom have a good day goodbye